So you're thinking about moving to Gulf Shores, Alabama, Orange Beach and the surrounding areas. Well, today I am gonna give you a tour of the Gulf Shores Zoo. This is a great local attraction if you're here visiting. If you live here full time, locals do like to come and bring their kids to the zoo. Fun fact is the original zoo was on the island, was there for years and the Animal Planet actually featured it on a series called The Little Zoo That Could. And then the zoo did expand. They bought a nice piece of property north of the Intercoastal off of County Road 6 and they expanded the zoo. Lots of anticipation. Uh, took years for this to happen, but it is done. A uh, zoo's been up and running for a couple years and it's, uh, it's a really cool local feature. So come check it out with us. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and ring the little bell. That way you can be one of the first ones to learn all there is to know about the current market conditions in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, and surrounding areas. My name is Aileen Fountain, along with my partner Andy Hollis and our entire team. We do these videos each and every week just to be informative, just to let you know what it's like to actually live at the beach. So whether it's nine days or 90 days from when you're thinking about making your move, give us a call, shoot us a text, email us, set up a Zoom. We'd love to meet with you face to face. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna give you a full tour of the zoo. Um, be sure to hang around to the very end of the video because I am gonna give you my pros and cons of coming to the zoo. And so I think you'll appreciate that. And I can't wait to show you all about the Gulf Shores Zoo. So come take, come take a look with us.
right, that's gonna just about do it for today's video of the Gulf Shore Zoo. However, I've got some pros and cons to share with you guys as promised. Uh, before I go through pros and cons, I do wanna let you know that I have not personally been to a zoo in well over 20 years not a zoo person, not a zoo goer. So I don't really have another zoo that I can even remember to compare this to. And it wouldn't even be appropriate because it's been so long um, at any rate. So take it for what it's worth, but uh, I'm gonna go over the cons first. First con is um, the shade. There are a lot of trees at the zoo, but there's not a lot of shade. And what I mean by that is there's just not a lot of shade through the walking paths, um, so it is hot. We came the last weekend in April, and it was a beautiful day, and we came in the morning, and so it was warm, but it was, it was totally fine. I would imagine if you're coming in the summertime, which a lot of people are because they're down here visiting and vacationing, um, you need to be prepared uh, with sunscreen, with waters. Of course, they sell water here and plenty of drinks and all kinds of things, so you'll be fine if you don't bring that but just be prepared that you are gonna need, um, need those things. So uh, con number two would be the cost. Um, for the two of us to bring our toddler, we spent $100 and that is with $67 on admission. We spent $20 on one of the add-ons. We spent $4.35 on a single carousel ride and we bought two waters. So that was $100, a little bit pricey. Um, I, I uh, imagine it's very expensive to run a zoo. I think the add-on features is genius, but they need to be more affordable. I um, saw the $5 to feed the giraffes, which I thought was super cool. Mine's a little too young to really feed the giraffes, so we didn't do that add-on. But we did do this really cool little ride. Um, you get in like this uh, safari type uh, cart and you go around in a loop and can see some other animals. Thought it was a really cool feature. My son loved it, but it was a very, very short ride for the money. Um, it said $5.95, so I thought that was per ride and that the three of us could ride that loop for $6. I was wrong. It was $6 per person. So I thought that was a little pricey for how short it was. And then he's three, so as soon as we got done, he was like, more, 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 mommy, let's do it again. And I'm like, for $20, uh, we are not doing that ride again. Uh, carousel ride, again, he's three. So after one ride around, he wanted to go again. And we're like, no, a lot of carousels that I have taken him to, you get two rides per purchase. So I um, think that that's something that you guys should also do. Let them have two rides per purchase um, and lower the cost of the add-ons. If you can, That think that would be great. Um, uh, con number three is, um, again, no zoo expert. I did think that the enclosures for the larger animals were a bit on the small side, but I don't know, you know, I'm sure all that is regulated. This was actually going to be on my pro list, but I had to move it to the con list. There is an on-site restaurant here called the Safari Club, and it's a really good restaurant. I actually came here fairly often just to eat, not even coming to the zoo and it recently closed down, so it's no longer open. So it was really cool to just come to the zoo and then be able to go have lunch um, afterwards and if you're adult, lunch and drinks. Um, but that is no longer um, an option and hopefully it opens back up and it will become a pro again. So now we'll move on to uh, the pros. So pro number one would be um, that it was very clean, very well kept, friendly staff. Uh, pro number two is that they have wagons and carts that you can rent. So if you're here from out of town visiting and you didn't bring that stuff, don't worry about it. Uh, they have that here for rent. So that's a, a great, um, great thing. Uh, next pro would be they have a zip line. Uh, we didn't get to do the zip line. And when my son gets a little bit older, we will definitely be back to do the zip line. Uh, next pro would be, I missed this memo, but they have a locals discount. We paid full price for admission. Um, also told that they have an annual pass. I do know some locals that have the annual pass to the zoo. So that's another great pro. Um, and then oddly enough, my last pro is that they do have a reptile section 
and I am told that they have snakes indoors and that they have a sign, a warning sign that says, you know, that they have snakes in there, which I think is a huge pro because I personally don't want to see them in the wild or in confinement. So that warning is much appreciated. All in all, great trip to the zoo and hope you found this uh, information helpful. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.